Understanding cutting someone off in English. Hello and welcome. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase, cutting someone off. This expression can be used in different contexts, each with its own nuances. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your English skills, understanding these phrases will help you communicate more effectively. Let's explore what it means to cut someone off and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Cutting someone off in conversation means to interrupt them before they've finished speaking. It's often viewed as impolite because it doesn't allow the person to complete their thought. For example, if you're telling a story and someone starts talking over you, they're cutting you off. It's important to be aware of this to maintain respectful and clear communication. Another common use of cutting someone off is in the context of driving. Here, it means to pull in front of another car suddenly and without much space. This action can be dangerous, causing the other driver to brake suddenly or swerve to avoid a collision. It's a term frequently used in traffic reports and discussions about road safety. Cutting someone off can also refer to ending a relationship or stopping communication with someone. This might happen after a disagreement or when one person decides it's healthier to no longer be in contact with the other. It signifies a clear and often abrupt end to interaction, whether it's personal, professional, or social. In a more specific context, cutting someone off financially means to stop providing them with money. Parents might cut off financial support to encourage independence, or a benefactor might stop funding someone if they disagree with how the money is being used. It's a decisive action that has significant implications for the relationship. Understanding the phrase, cutting someone off, and its various uses can greatly enhance your ability to express yourself clearly in English. Whether it's navigating social interactions, discussing driving behavior, or talking about relationships and finances, knowing this phrase can help you articulate your thoughts more precisely. We hope this video has shed light on the nuances of this common expression. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content.